In the last three decades, he has been passionately working on redefining the, the technical and technological extremes of buildings, especially in urban centers like New York, Moscow, Hong Kong, and Paris, and Dubai. Dr. Fisher's professional activity with the Dynamic Architecture Group has always been focused on two concepts. An industrial approach, which involves the use of prefab units, and dynamic architecture, according to which the traditional three-dimensional design meets a fourth dimension, time. His new skyscraper, the rotating tower, is shaped by life and designed by time. Dr. Fisher. Welcome to the future. Welcome to a new and innovative architecture perspective. It's called dynamic architecture. Isn't life about dynamics as well? Life is movement. It's about keeping up with time, with the changing of the seasons. Life follows the movement of the sun from rising to setting. Time is our best architect. It designs us and the world we live in. So it does with our architecture. Time shapes it again and again. Our buildings keep moving, changing their shape forever to better fit life itself. And your life as well. So we have designed 78 floors which can rotate separately, changing every second the shape of the building. Dynamic architecture is always different. Allowing a different building to come along in any moment. For the first time, man will have a building in four dimensions. It evolves through time and space. Because if your life travels through time, you need a home which travels accordingly. In our buildings, you can have breakfast facing sunrise and dinner in front of a sunset over the ocean without moving from your room. This skyscraper can be redesigned every day, every moment, being the first digital building ever. Yes, our buildings are smart. So smart that they produce energy for themselves. They are totally self-powered. Our architecture employs wind turbines, positioned horizontally between each floor, which will produce energy for the building itself and will also supply energy for several other buildings. Our tower of 78 floors will have 77 wind turbines, making the building also a power station producing green energy for the city around it. So it's nature itself that will supply green energy to our homes. In return, we pay nature more respect. Building our towers with a ready-made technology for a more efficient and environment-friendly implementation. Our culture is revolutionary, even in the way it's built. This is in fact the first building produced in a factory, apart from the concrete core. It's produced of complete luxury units in a production facility, including all finishing, plumbing, electrical, air conditioning facilities, and installed on the concrete core right on location. This ready-made implementation offers high quality finishing, high quality control, 
and the use of a very few workers on site, minimizing life risk at the construction site, reducing time of construction as well. It offers also substantial cost savings. The dynamic architecture is made of natural materials, making homes part of the environment and green buildings. It is another wonder that Italy is offering to the world. The project was born in Milan, city of art, fashion and technology, to be extended worldwide. The first tower will be built in Dubai, city of the future for the project of the future. In Dubai, a milestone is about to be laid to become a world landmark. Because we are not only building a rotating skyscraper, our architecture rotates 360 degrees for a wider vision of the world, of nature, of the future, of life. A new era of architecture. This is our vision. Become a visionary yourself. Okay, good morning. <clears throat> this is the first expression of dynamic architecture. I always believed that architecture should be part of life. Buildings should adjust themselves to nature. Everything moves around us, but homes are static. Buildings have very little to do with life. Then, time always intrigued me. I was looking for the fourth dimension time to be part of architecture. Dynamic buildings will mark a new era of architecture. Buildings in motion will be a challenge to a traditional architecture. Until now, based on gravity, dynamic architecture will become the symbol of a new philosophy that will change the look of our cities. From now on, we Buildings will have four dimensions. Today's life is dynamic, so the space we are living in should be dynamic as well. Adjustable to our needs, they change continuously to our concept of design and to our mood. Buildings will be from now on part of life. We we'll change direction and shape from spring to summer, from sunrise to sunset. We we'll adjust ourselves to nature. Buildings will be alive. Now, in the digital era, we will have also, for the first time, digital buildings. I call these buildings, in fact, designed by life, shaped by time. But it is time also for a smart construction method. Construction has hardly changed since the time of the pyramids and the Colosseum. I was looking for a smarter way to do homes going toward the industrial process, seeking for higher quality, faster construction, and reducing the cost. Then having ecological buildings being friendly and empowered by nature. These were my dreams since ever. These are the challenges of an architect trying to create a better life. Before we go back to the dynamic architecture that most probably is uh, the greenest building ever designed, I would like to say a few words about architecture. Today, architecture means design in most cases. Buildings become iconic, thanks to their shape. Architects try to astonish by making nice shapes and or strange shapes. I think they try to do sculptures in many cases in the old scale. Some of them are beautiful. But they don't give the proper answer for the space for living or working in these buildings. Here we see an example of a famous church in Italy, San Giovanni in Florence. Um, Michelucci, the architect, was a professor of mine. And when I was a student, he was considered in Florence to be the godfather of Italian contemporary architecture. I understood later on that he was an artist. In fact, he was a sculptor. But architecture is not an art. In fact, I believe that architecture is first of all feasibility. Then it is functionality. It is engineering, maintenance, green, and only then design. All the things 
explain as to sustainability and sustainability is architecture. In fact, I believe in design. Design is important, but it's only the last of my commandments. I believe that correct is beautiful, not whatever is beautiful is correct. We go back to our building in Dubai. Um, this is a skyscraper. We should start building very soon. Everything starts from the core. The core is the only vertical uh, structure element of the building, and around the core we have the entire floor. This is the hotel, where each room is a room with a view rotating 360 degrees. Here we see the sample of, uh, of the villa, of one of the penthouses on top. Uh, one, one apartment of over 1,000 square meters all rotating around the floor, around the core of the floor. In fact, in the core we have the vertical transportation, the, the elevators, the stairs, the plumbing electric system. We have also a space, as you can see, for, for the car. Uh, this is the one. Uh, this is the Dubai first rotating skyscraper where we have office space in the bottom, hotel, apartments, and on top we have what are called in Dubai, the villas. And I thought if it's a villa, when you have a weekly villa, you get home with your car. So here you get the Ferrari getting up to your flat. Um, it is the first, the first parking with a view. Um, it started really as a gimmick uh, in Dubai, but we found only some other places, like in Germany, they took it very seriously. So it's not a gimmick. Uh, if I can afford 300 uh, meters, square meters of apartment, I can afford also getting to my apartment with, with a car. It's more convenient and much safer, of course. Well, interior design, everything is computerized in this building. Uh, the rotation is uh, voice activated. So you just have to say right, left, speed one, speed two, speed three, start, and the floor just follow your desire. Uh, on the left side on top, uh, on the right on top, we can see um, one of the solutions we are going to use for the rotating tower in Moscow, which is going to be the second one after Dubai. Uh, even the bathroom, we try to have no obstacle between the apartment and, and the nature. We, we believe this is, this is the greenest building ever designed. As we saw in the animation before, this building is self-powered, completely self-powered and can produce energy to other buildings. But the, the second innovation of this project is 90% of the building is done in a factory. Uh, more than a factory, it's an assembly facility that we see here. The building is done in the workshop. Every six days we finish a, a floor in the workshop and then we install it on site. Um, we, we see the units are completely finished. They arrive to the site with the plumbing system, electric system, air conditioning, all the finishing just for mechanical uh, fixing on the core. So, on the left we see the construction method that I consider to be of past history. And on the right side we see the future of construction done in a workshop and just jacked up floor by floor much faster with many advantages that have to do also with ecology and green environment. In our buildings we have no noise on the construction site, no dust no waste, very limited casualties. So it is a real great one. Here we can see some of the technologies we took, from the big telescopes to the London Eye, to big machineries, to the new 787. Technologies that exist worldwide, but never went to construction. <coughs> Not yet. Uh, 
The Nanit architecture is also a club of uh, leading uh, companies. Some of them, as you see, as Bosch, had never any connection to construction. And uh, some said, uh, Mr. Fisher, when I spoke to them, we, we never did buildings. They said, I know this, was, this is why I want you on board. So we have a structure engineer that started uh, years ago at the World Trade Center and doing now in, in waterfront, uh, the over one kilometer building. Uh, have Bobbis and uh, other international big names. Time, I mean, we are going to finish the building in Dubai in 22 months instead of 36 months that will be required for a normal building. So it's about 30% time saving. There is no doubt that building in the future will all run in the factory not on the construction site, as the Egyptians did 3,800 years ago. The advantages, as we see, are higher quality, life-saving, tailor-made solution. You can order your apartment the way you would like it to be. Uh, we have about 30% time savings and at least 10% cost savings. 10% cost savings refer to producing it by factory and building it by if we are going to build this building in London, producing it in Dubai, with the cost of Dubai factory, saving is going to be much bigger. And the wind energy, we saw it before, we have turbines, uh, we all know, we saw it earlier, the traditional vertical wind turbines. Um, in our building, having 80 floors, we have 79 horizontal turbines which means we are going to have a completely self-powered building. We are going to have about 20 mega produced in this building so we can sell power to other buildings around. We have also big space for solar panels, of course, because having 80 floors, we have basically 80 roofs. And if we use we have only about 15% exposed area. On each roof, we still have 80 times 15%. So also solar energy. Uh, here we wanted to show that the balcony can be stretched out and in. It is dynamic. Of course, all the traditional um, elements that have to do with sustainability. This is again the roof garden of the Moscow Project. Not just on design, on logic. 